Hey everybody, it's Joyce here, Shadow by Etero with a little on yop, and we are doing a pick a card draw uh, reading. I always want to say drawing. It's not a drawing, it's a reading. So I've already shuffled, made my little stacks. Stack number one, stack number two, stack number three, stack number four. Again, that's stack number one. Stack number two, stack number three, and stack number four. Let me make sure we are recording. And yeah, looks like. Okay, so I don't have any makeup on yet. So yeah, bear with me here. And I don't want to scare and blind everybody. So all right, guys, I'll give you a minute to... Pick your deck out of one, two, three, and four. All right, stack number one. If I could pick it up with these nails. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pumpkins, the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and True Love from the Romance Angels. This is the Romance of a Lifetime. Okay? So basically, and I'm going to put this one here. All right. So what we have here, true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. This is what this relationship is truly about, okay? This relationship, there's a cycle ending and a higher level of commitment beginning. Okay, the goal is the Ten of Pentacles here. And you see the couple with all that prosperity around them. They love each other. They've longed for each other for a while. It's been a long road, as you can see in this Ten of Wands. A lot of waiting, a lot of heartbreak and relationships. This is the past. This is different relationships and heartbreak. These are all these burdens, all these old memories and old baggage that's about to be laid to rest in the ten. okay? Wands are fire. Wands are passion and desire and attraction and sex and movement. And movement at a fast pace. It's also communication, all right? So this person, whether you are the person you're dealing with, this person has had a lot of disappointments, and it's been weighing on them. They've carried this baggage around for a long, long time. And the journey is about to end because the goal is being reached here, as you can see. So these wands are about to be laid to rest. With every ending is a new beginning, okay? This Ace of Pumpkins, which is the Ace of Pentacles in traditional tarot, shows and coinciding with the Page of Pentacles, you know, the solid offer, the serious offer, the grounded offer, the stability, the longevity is starting now. All right? This is the permanent commitment stage that you're moving into. This is all that prosperity and abundance and peace. You see the peace lilies? There's peace of heart, peace of mind, knowing that this stability is coming in now. It's on its way now. There's not much further left to take on the journey, you see, to reach the goal. The offer is here, all right? The offer is here, and it's solid. This page carries the ace. 
You see, the page of pentacles is someone who has learned something in this particular reading. They've learned what they don't want. And by knowing what you don't want, you fall into the category automatically of what you do want. And all this was the learning process. All these wands here were the learning, the schooling of life. Okay? Life educated this person. They learned some harsh lessons here. Now they're coming in with a real offer. Something solid, something that can be built <clears throat> off of. Okay? Security in a relationship, a solid foundation, and moving toward the goal of happiness and abundance here. True love in a committed relationship. Stack number two. We have judgment. The Knight of Ghosts, which is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. The Five of Cups. And with the Romance Angels, we have Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. All right. So that makes sense here. With this reconciliation card, someone from your past is returning. So the person you're dealing with is someone from your past, someone that you know. If it's not someone from your past, it is someone you've shared a past life with. But this is someone whose soul recognizes yours and vice versa, okay? Someone you do have a deep connection with. So with reconciliation and the judgment card here, this is something thought dead being brought back to life by the divine. This is Archangel Gabriel blowing his horn and waking up the dead. Some of you may have a child with this person. Some of you may begin a family with this person. Okay? However, which way the pendulum sw swings here, guys, this relationship was thought to be dead and dormant and gone. Dead and buried. But it's not. The divine is waking it up and bringing you two back together. Okay? Okay? And this is about forgiveness, learning from the past and forgiving and moving toward the future. This is a renewal in a relationship. This relationship will begin and will transform into something good and solid, okay? These two knights, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, tells me that number one, this relationship is going to move you know, forward once it gets started. There is longevity here, but it's taken a lot. It's going to be fear on both sides. It's going to take courage for both of you to not only begin the relationship, but to carry it through into the future. Why? Because of the past regrets of how things were handled, regrets on decisions made, and wishing it could have been done differently. However, there will be forgiveness because lessons have been learned. The love, the love is here and coming in, and y'all going to take y'all time with it. Why? Because of the past. Okay, you're going to both make sure this is exactly how it should be before you lay down the seeds, you plant the seeds, which for many of you, the seeds have already been planted. For some of you, you really need to lay down that foundation to build off of. However it goes, love is coming in. It's real love. That communication is coming in. And... To build that solid foundation is going to take time. The want is there, though. The determination is there. The planning stages are here. And it will take courage for both of you to jump in and take that leap of faith. 
but you will do it. It's not going to be easy for some of you, but you will do it. This is real love, and it's long-lasting, and it will continue on, okay? This is a long-term commitment being planned out. All righty, guys. Stack number three, we have the Prince of Pentacles, which is the Knight. The Lovers. The Ten of Swords here. The Two of Wands. And from the Romance Angels, Wedding. This situation involves marriage. All right, so some of you are at a distance from your person, okay? Whoever you're involved with, you are at a distance from them for a large majority of you. And it has not been easy, okay? This is someone that you can see yourself marrying. It's either you thinking this or they are. And you imagine your life with them or they imagine their life with you. Energies can be vice versa. Or you could both be feeling the same exact way. Highly possible. With this Prince of Pentacles here, a solid commitment is being offered, obviously, here. Now, for some of you, very small majority of you, Either you or the other person is already married and that marriage will come to an end because either you or that person wants to be free to pursue another relationship. Either you're married and want to pursue someone else because you love someone else or the person you're dealing with is married, wants to end the marriage to pursue you. Either way. But for some of you, there's someone here that is married and that relationship, that marriage will come to an end because they choose you or you choose them. If you are single, you are making a choice. Some of you between two lovers, some of you, it's not between two lovers. It's just a cycle of waiting. It's going to come to an end because you've longed to be together. The distance is there, the physical distance, but the emotional distance is not. And you will soon be together. There is a lot of communication here, I see. And a solid offer for a commitment being made. So don't give up. Whoever this is resonating for, don't give up because you will, in the end, get who you want. You will be with that person that you long and desire. And this Ten of Swords energy here, all this hurt, pain, feeling of being trapped, deceived, lied to, is all coming to an end. The pain of waiting and longing for the person you love, all that's coming to the end here. All right? Some of you may be in a different country from the one that you love, but there is a great distance here for the majority of you. However, I do see a long-term commitment. I've been seeing that throughout this. Long-term commitments being made. People are tired of waiting. They want who they want. The heart can't wait anymore. The love is there, and that's that. And that's good. I say, move forward. What the hell? Go for it. You know, take that chance. Why be miserable the rest of your life? Do it now while you still can. Do it now and enjoy more time with the person you love. Get out of where you don't want to be and be where you want to be. You know, the divine can help you and will help you. However, you got to help yourself. You have to do something to help yourself as well. It's not just going to fall into your lap every single solitary thing. You have to be willing. You have to be ready to put in the work. You have to be ready and willing to take that step forward and get it started, get it going. 
All right, stack number four is right here. We have give your relationship a chance with the romance angels. Work on your partnership. So a lot of you, you need that motivation. Give your relationships a chance. Don't let fear ruin what could possibly be the best relationship of your life. Do not do that. Fears, 90% of the time, fears are unfounded. It's just bullshit in your head from other people in the past. Those other people are not this person. Okay? And if this person has made mistakes, obviously you're being told to give them a shot, give them a chance to rectify the situation, give them a chance to fix it, give the relationship an opportunity to go somewhere because apparently it does have potential. We have the star in Aquarius here. We have the eight of pentacles. So some of you, this has been a long going thing, all right? This has been a relationship for a lot of you that, you know, you guys have been together for a while and putting forth the effort and energy. This is the Justice card, Major Arcana, and we have the Four of Wands. So, whew, I see this relationship, some of you are in separation from your person. Some of you have been in separation from your person for a while, but still actively putting the work into the relationship regardless. Some of you are not communicating properly with the person that you love and want to communicate with, want to be with. You guys understand this. The love is there. The opportunity is here. You have to open your mouth and tell each other how you truly feel. You have to pour out your emotions. Especially if you're at a distance, you got to be honest about your feelings. Okay? You guys have got to learn communication is key to any and all relationships. And that is good, honest, and open communication. Speak to your person. Tell them how you feel. Because I'm going to tell you something. I see... <laughs> The Justice card and the Four of Wands, the relationship will take a higher level of commitment if you give it a chance, spill your heart. Or do you honestly want to be connected to someone that you're too afraid to speak how you feel? I mean, really, you have to talk. And I'm not saying texting, emailing is great, that's good, but there are times you need to just speak face to face, on the phone, hear each other's voices, you really do. Four of Wands is going into the home and it will be an engagement leading to a wedding. For a lot of you, the Justice card is here with the scales of life balancing. With communication comes the balance. With communication comes that commitment. With the communication, everything you've worked for pays off. Okay? So yes, I see the signing of legal documents. I see justice being had in this situation. Like I said, some of you are physically in a separated situation for whatever reason, but you will come together and you will celebrate and you will commit. There's a lot of work being put into this. Be honest about how you feel. You both love each other and think the world of each other. I'm telling you, Communication is key. You have to open up and tell them how you feel so they can in turn open up to tell you how they feel about you. So it's vice versa. It works both ways. This is not a one-way street. Relationships take two people. You want something good? Be something good. Give them what you want to get back in return. And you will get it. Reciprocity. That's what you want and you will have it. Open your mouth. Talk. Be honest. Be open. You know, if you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly bear. Stop pissing around and get to it. I'm telling you, it's here for you. Stop whining and crying and get the shit going because guess what? Nobody's going to do it for you. Get off your asses and talk to each other. And I'm saying that. That's right, I'm saying it. Somebody's got to make you do it. 
Unless you want to lose it, don't whine and complain if you lose it. Because I'm going to promise you this, somebody is in line waiting to take it from you. Go ahead and take it because it's yours. If you leave it, then oh well, guess what? That'll be somebody else's blessing, not yours. That's what you want because you're scared? You're scared to say I love you? Well, guess what? Other people muster up the courage and do it every single day and get what they want. It's time for you to open up, say what you feel to the right person. I don't give a damn what's going on. I don't give a shit where they at. You want to know how they feel? Well, they want to know how you feel. It's time for somebody to open up. That's my readings for Pick a Card. And I will see y'all soon. I am doing celebrity readings this evening. And I will also go live tonight for a super chat. And the super chat will be three card pull for $10 or a six card pull for $20 and that's going to be the forum for late night super chat. I say late night. I'm not sure exactly what time I'm going to go on and what time it is in your area. However, please watch out for that and of course I'll do my celebrity readings prior to going live tonight on super chat. So Thank you guys. Have a great, great weekend and I will see you again soon.